Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Hunter Try! Alright everybody, so... Let's see what we can do with the catalyst right now. Um, we can combine it with the rare steak. Or the dragon toadstool, I think. This is the thing that did something cool. Uh, but first I'm gonna get another catalyst. So that was bitterbug... Honey. Alright, so. Catalyst and Dragon Code stool make. Immunizer. Um. I believe that did something. Oh, no, wait. Uh. I think I know what it does. Uh. Go to the Immunizer. And you can mix that with the Kelby Horn. To make the Ancient Potion. Uh, that, I believe, is one of the best healing items in the game. Fully restoring your health, maxing it out, as in extending it, if it isn't already extended, as well as your stamina. So it's a pretty good item. But anyways, let's start this off with some missions. Uh, so we already have Harvest Troom. Why don't we go after Farm Aid? then maybe sunken treasure. So here we get to kill some Jagia. It's their actual introduction instead of just happening by them. Uh, the Jagia are the females of the Jaggy species and they're quite a bulky enemy um, when it gets down to it. So that, what's the potion? Ration, paintball. I don't really need the torch, but whatever. You gotta remember not to do that. So we head off to number six. Ah, uh, here's some Jaggy we can get for the side quest. I do believe that, um, end charge. Jab is a lot more powerful. Um, so if you can try and get it so you land that. Um, but again, it's most powerful when you keep going through and are. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As if you get this, there's a few sweet spots in some certain enemies where you just keep running and does so much damage. It's it's hilarious how much damage you can do. But anyways, we only have basic minutes, so uh, we're gonna stick with the jab jab um, back up sort of technique for right now. We can get the right direction to hit. I believe was no, that was not. Rusted Ho. Oh, we have to slay ten Jaggy to complete the subquest. Uh, I think to do that, your best bet is to go to seven. So I'll have to go through six. Uh, you can control where you're charging with the. Um, <coughs> joystick or whatever you else you need to move. If you're using a different controller style. And I need to show. That move is going to be the bane of your existence if you play this game. Surrounded the that little move is best. Uh, make sure you're holding the nunchuck the right way when you're covering from it, though. Unless you activate the move when you don't want to, because it does take a bit of time. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. So go out to number seven. 
sharpen first. Oh god. Like I said, that move, bane of existence. Move, move, move. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so... Kill a few more Jaggy. Just get the sub-quest done, because we can. Charge at this one. Piercing strike. Yeah, after the shield bash, you can go straight into the everything. Quest eight complete. Huzzah! There's a jaggy uh, which do attack. I do believe the shielded poke is a bit weaker, but it'll save your life. So. I don't even care. Alright, that one's dead. Charge fourth, quest and ho. Alright, we'll need to slay three more. Um, could sharpen and heal, but... Nah. Go for speed. Um, I do believe, um, in the game's code, the lance counts as a cutting weapon. So you can sever tails and cut through hair of certain creatures that have them. And, uh... After the quest is finished, you're completely invincible. Which has gotten some lolzy things happen to me. But anyways, just wait for a minute. Do whatever you want, gesture. Ah, uh, there's gestures. Can, uh... Right, uh... There's one that allows you to just, like, just sit down. Oh, kick back. This is the one. You're just sitting there. It's like, haha, you can't touch me even if you want to do. Explore items and stamp quest complete. Which no one ever stamps straight because why would you? Alright, so I need some box, so this is. You'll get uh, usually what you're hunting is little pickups from there. Herbs, blue mushroom, herb. Some green berries and thing from the side quest. <coughs> Sub quest. Side quest. Alright, so now loading. Alright, so uh, let's check out the farm. See how it's doing. There you are. I'm much obliged to you. The guild sent me a notice saying you took care of the herd of Jaggy. Mighty kind of them to do it all for me like. But I would would have preferred a visit from the cute receptionist girl. Anyway, I wanted to give you this bomb case I made to show my appreciation. Bomb casing on its own is as dangerous as a declawed feline. But you can combine it to make all sorts of bombs. For starters, try combining it with a flash bug. Sounds like fun, huh? You know, Hunter, you're alright. So yeah, a flash bomb can be useful. Uh, excite Shroom, Worm, Excite Shroom, Worm. Uh, he's got one cycle left. <coughs> and we hardly have any resources. Uh, did I turn in my hunt report? No, I did not. Uh, might as well get that shroom germ curve thing done. 
pheromones. So I think um, all I need to do is get guts. For this one, uh, check my items. Ah, uh, that should be fine. Probably should make some more potions, but oh well. The mini potions will probably do okay for any healing needs, besides I do believe we're only hunting Epioth. So, guts, it's what's for dinner. Hi again, you know, I just live for my job, so I figured I'd pop in to give you a bit of a ducks. Lucky you. Once the quest is started, you, your immediate to-do list should be to include three items. Check the quest time limits, check the main quest, the sub-quest info, take items from the supply box. Stick to these simple rules and you enjoy a long career of happy hunting. Good luck. So yeah, we'll take our supplies. Be on our way. Uh, I can take my rations. And here's a um, relatively well-known uh, shortcut to the water areas uh, in the game. Down here, since this is basically on top of an ancient ruin place, uh, you can see some stairs, but through here is a shortcut to area 9. Uh, quite helpful, especially if no one else knows it when you're on a multiplayer thing. Anyways, roll! That's another swimming thing. Dive in. So yeah, you just have to un hunt some Epioth and get some guts. Provided they don't do that. Uh, you can't actually do that. It's quite amusing. Especially if you look at it from the surface. And he's down. So, monster bonus. Not what we want. Also not what we want. I believe uh, in area 11 are, is a better yield. I believe you can also wait for them to respawn. But anyways... Uh, I have got to stop saying that. Uh, there's some search points. You can see the bones on the floor. Uh, those are important for another mission and can lead to some rare items you can get. Oh yes, this one introduced, uh, introduces the log endless. You basically run away from it. <laughs> oh no! Good hunter, this, this is terrible! The creature you see before you is the log Chris, the sea monster that has been tormenting our poor village. What terrible timing. I might relax. Breathe. Okay. Phew. Now, get out of there as quickly as you can. You insist on acquiring a quest item. Please pick an area where the Logia Chris is nowhere to be seen. Don't be reckless. You're no match for that creature right now. Live to hunt another day. So yeah, that's the Logia Chris. Uh, when it sees you, that thing will show up. Ah, might as well punch it. That happens sometimes. Most of the time when you're hunting big monsters. Yeah, and just in, just its fin did that damage. So anyways, we'll return to 10 because you know, that's also when you have that little icon being seen, uh, you'll run faster and if you're on land and dodge, uh, you'll do a jump dodge. Which, um... It gives you a few invincibility frames, which can be useful, but looks lousy as hell if not used properly. Like it, be, it can look epic as well, but it's most likely going to look lousy. 
I've got to stop using that phrase. Drew hide, not guts. Guts! Excellent. Monster bone ass. Hydro hide. Okay, one of three. Where are those other epi off? There they are. What I like about the low level lances is the little extended animation. No other lances have that. Yeah, which makes you really stand out in the crowd because they have to be up like that. Oh, he's still alive. Sorry. That's him breaching. The fortunate part is we still need guts. So... Back into the water we go. Oh, when he curls up like that, you want to be careful. I believe he can also break these things. Oh no, he's just going to sleep. Don't want to wake a uh, poor little Logia. Um, yeah, uh, in the hunt menu, the return to village thing isn't an option, but there is an item you can make, which allows you to go straight to the uh, camp. Uh, but you can only carry one at a time. So, um, that's a useful item to have in certain situations, but you have to use them sparingly. Because you're not going to get much. Uh, you get some raw meat. Another monster bone. None of these guys give me what I need. Target acquired. Launching. Yeah, it gets real easy to get lazy with your uh, Wii remote hand and do the wrong attack. Monster Bone S. Oh, jeez. Still don't have enough guts, by god. Oh yeah, here's your water dodge. Guessing all the uh, happy off fled. It's funny to look at the guy just swimming for his life. Anyways, these happy off are getting on my nerves. Swim, swim, I say. Charge! I am a narwhal. Effectively. Give me your bloody friggin' guts. Monster Brown ass. Monster Guts, finally! Nope. 
And there's no subquests. So, we can just go back to uh, hmm. the camp. Deli Unfortunately, you can't take the shortcut from 9, which kind of sucks. BBBB18, signing out.